In this video, we're going to look at how to add blog posts to medium.com for Decisive Minds. And um, so let me just show you where we are. We are at the URL, medium.com, logged in as uh, me. And what you want to do is you just click on my little face there, and you're going to come down to Stories. Okay, after a while, you'll be able to just go to New Story. But right now, we want to come to Stories. And the reason we want to do that is you can see... And um, under stories, there's drafts and there's public. So there's a draft here that is untitled, <laughs> which can be just deleted. All right, very good. So now you can see there are no drafts and there are 12 public. So before you decide which blog post you're going to use, you have to make sure that it hasn't already been used on Medium or put on Medium. So um, we're going to come here, five elements of an effective website that attracts your ideal client. I want to go see if, if we have used this before on Medium. So I'll come to Medium, I go to Public, and I'm looking for five elements of a website. And I do not see it. Therefore, we can use that one. Okay, so the first step is actually to make sure that the blog post has been indexed on Google as a Decisive Minds blog post before we go put it on Medium or even LinkedIn, okay? So I want you to go to uh, google.com forward slash webmasters forward slash tools forward slash submit hyphen URL. So google.com forward slash webmasters forward slash tools forward slash submit hyphen URL. Once you are here, um, then you're going to come over to, to the actual blog. You're going to copy the URL for the blog. Okay, not decisiveminds.com, the actual blog itself. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come over to the search console. I'm going to paste that into there. Tell it I'm not a robot and submit the request okay this your request has been received and will be processed shortly this will tell google that that blog post was on decisive minds first and that's important okay once you've done that then you're going to come back over um, to medium and we're going to click on write a story now first we'll choose the title and then we'll come back in and do the story so the title, we're going to, oops, we're just going to copy the title here. Come over to Medium, click on Title, Control-V to insert it, and that's, now that's there. Come back to Decisive Minds. Now we're going to copy the rest of this blog post. And actually, for some reason today, if I start at the bottom and go up, it works better. So we'll go... Come on, computer. Okay, there you go. <laughs> okay, I'm going to copy everything but the title, right? Because I've already used the title. So now it's all highlighted. I'm going to right-click and copy. Come back over to Medium. Make sure my cursor is here where it says Tell Your Story. I'm going to click on Control-V, and that inserts everything from that blog post, including images, okay? And including links, if I have linked to anything in there. Now, what you have to do is you have to come back here and uh, make sure that there's no big spaces because sometimes it'll um, you might see for example um, so this I want this space between here but there it may have shown up looking like this okay and if it did then you would just come in here and delete that space okay so aesthetically look at it and say is it pleasing to the eye um, the next thing would be to look here and see if there's anything else that we did nope there are no other links so I'll make sure all the links are working um, I'm going to because I should have done it in the actual blog post I'm going to bold the Five tips. I should have done it in the other one and I didn't. Uh, 
Okay. Now everything here is good to go. And we can, um, it's, it's saved as a draft right now. If we go to publish, we can decide on a couple of things. Number one, we want to add tags, okay? And you can have up to five tags. So if we look, if we were logged into the back end of the website, then we could see what tags I used here. But I'm going to say, so marketing is a great tag effective website um, uh, ideal client uh, let's see what else I talked about in there target market will be a good one um, website navigation let's do that target market and website navigation. Uh, we'll just put website because see website has 8.4 thousand um, choices or entries there. So it's, it's not always that I want to pick the biggest one. Let's, let's see if any of those website design, website development, website traffic. I'm going to go with website design. Okay, now you should be logged in as me. And so if you're logged in as me, you're going to see share on Twitter as Results Lady, share on Facebook as Michelle Sism. Okay, um, and then, oops, let me come back in here. Now, you can do a couple, this a couple of ways. You can come in here and you can schedule um, for it to publish at a different time. So let's say I want to publish this on 410 at 108 p.m. Okay, the story will be published automatically within five minutes of the specified time. So we can save that. So um, visibility is public, that's good. License all rights reserved. Um, that you know what that earned money for your story is new. Let me see what that is real quick. Paywall. Okay, I'll I'll look into that and see what it is. Not anything for you to worry about at this point. And if I'm ready for you to change that, then I will. So now this draft is scheduled. So if we went back, um, if we went back to stories. Then we're going to see that we have a draft and we have 12 public. So if you wanted to, um, what I would like is on medium.com, I'd like about three posts a week. And we've got just hundreds of them in there that you can go pull from. Now, I prefer that you pull um, the ones that we've re released in the last, you know, say four to six months because we've been fixing those blog posts, if they're old blog posts, make sure there's something that I've edited, okay, before you put them in here. So that is it. That's all it is for medium.com.